feed. So we started off with some smaller cows and uh, we've been letting them get bigger. Uh, but I haven't bought any cows in a couple of years, or in about over a year now. And we are producing a fair amount of milk. I do realise that obviously um, if I go, you know, if I turn on Maze Plus then all of a sudden I'm going to have to uh, get a bigger milk truck. And made, maybe buy the dairy, because, you know, income and all that. But yeah, your robots are definitely on, uh, on caffeine, because uh, I can go down to the store, buy 10,000 litres of uh, mineral feed, and turn around, it's all gone at the next you know hour where they uh, the robot does its run it just drains 10,000 litres of mineral feed gone so uh, not like a normal robot feeder I don't think must admit I haven't used one yet until I got to this map but yeah maybe I will Maybe I will consider adding Maze Plus this week. Um, actually, that might be a plan. Um, it will mean potentially we're still. Oh, I was going to check the grass. Well, check the grass when I get. Yes. Yeah, I know. Um, actually, I think d the the seed tank that you have on on the farm can do either mineral feed or seeds but only one at a time at least that's my experience with it and I tend to have seeds left over um, so yeah it's nice to have that on the farm I don't have a local access point for lime or herbicide but yeah we're still growing this farm and uh, we're kind of getting to the point where I probably want to think about getting some uh, manure spreaders of some description again we're looking we've got 60,000 litres of slurry 70 nope uh, oh I have to get out and uh, stop by the manure pile to see how much of that I've got. Replaceable tank for lime. Right, yeah, and I think, I mean that that's as it was in Farm Sim 19, and I think it's the same, isn't it the same mod or giants, you know, thing. Again, back in construction. Uh, is it silos? Containers. Uh, that thing. Oh, that's a lime station. Yes, that's the thing we had back in nineteen. And it, it was a purchase point, it wasn't something you could unload into, which is kind of a shame, because now that we've got those um, fertilizer and seed silos that you can unload into, um, I'm kind of liking that, because I don't have to have pallets of stuff lying around the, uh, the yard all the time. I don't know if the modder who did Realistic Cedar is looking at, you know, either still modding for Farm Sim or whether he's looking at adding uh, Realistic Cedar to 22. Because um, that, that did the, it breaks up the seed from generic into specific seed per crop and disabled the switching the seed on your seeder so you had to unload 
you had to unload the soybean seed and put maize seed in if you wanted to plant maize. It's already out. Okay, it's not on Mod Hub, so that means I'm going to have to go hunting for it. I know there's been some where they've produced the seed bags so that they, you know, they look right, but they haven't managed to disable the um, the switch on the uh, seeder. Um, and those are typically, oh, I, I bought out a bag of Polish seeds or um, I think the last one this week had four different fertili solid fertilizers, except they all have the same effect and you can throw them in your fertilizer spreader and they all do the same thing. But yeah, one's ammonia and one's something else and one's something else. And it's just, sort of, yeah, it's, it makes it a little bit more interesting being able to buy different stuff. But I kind of like the ability to, uh, yeah. I have to plan ahead, I have to know what, what I'm planting next and actually purchase the seeds required for that, um, that crop. Because it brings around frustration of, oh no, I haven't finished planting this field, I need about 100 litres more seed, whoops. I can only buy it in batches of things. <laughs> but I will, I will try and look for that because I, I do, I, I, I find that method of play um, fun. I know a lot of people probably don't, but hey, that's me. And how to drink stuff. And we are nearly full. Yield on this field is a little bit down, and that's because our our lime, so nitrogen, nitrogen, pH. Our pH is good, not perfect. So we lost a bit here. Yes, and and that's 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 absolutely the thing. Um, typically, when a new version of Farm Sim comes out, I'm waiting for. The, the mods I like to play with, at least the scripting mods I like to play with, to come back. I'm not too worried about, oh, that piece of equipment's no longer available. Because um, there is so much equipment that, you know, it's, it's good to be able to try out something else. Um, that said, I still miss um, the AR frame... MAN truck that uh, GTX did back in Farm Sim 17. Um, I did like that piece of kit because it's a short wheelbase truck that you can you know you can mount a tipper. Um, um, oh, what is it? Tank, loads of things on the back. So, um, and it's cheaper than the hook lift. That that was the biggest thing for me was well I could either buy a truck and then every attachment for it's like 50,000 or I can buy the AR frame and uh, each module for that is um, 20,000 so much cheaper and obviously when you're starting a new farm it's there is one it's it's, it's not by GTX I did like GTX's uh, the 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 AR frame truck that GTX did in seventeen had a ton of different modules for the back, and just yeah, there was you know as I said there was there was the normal the tipper the tanker, but there was animal transporter there was um, I think a maintenance um, module on the back so you could actually do field maintenance. Oh. I didn't fill it up and the hook lifts didn't give you quite the number of options and stuff that's more recent by other modders hasn't included the um, what's the word for it the oh, 
the variety, I guess. It, that's not the right word, but it's the word I'll use for now. Um, the GTX gave us. But that was back when he was GTX mods, and now he's part of a modding team that uh, set their eyes on other things. That grass looks good to go. Uh, yep, that grass is good to go. But we've done enough grass, so I wasn't planning to do it today. Twenty thousand two hundred fifty canola fits in this tank as well. We have a lot of manure, and uh, my plan is to use that forty to seven thousand. So we've got a lot more slurry. Um, we'll be using the manure in the uh, feeder, uh, the garden thing. is when's the best price for canola? I think it's it's a long way away. In a galaxy far, far away. Uh, November. Actually, that's not too far in the future. So that's kind of okay, I guess. I've downloaded a couple of shed mods so this farmyard might get decimated sometime fairly soon with some different style sheds and what have you but, uh, it works enough for now okay i can park that there and i press the wrong button okay uh, turn that on Close that, turn that on. I'm actually, I'm not sure we're going to get past two loads on the truck. I think we're more than halfway. Possibly. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. That's good. So I've got so I now got to look for the realistic cedar mod. I think that I uh, can't remember where that was hidden, but um, certainly have a look for it. I'm probably not gonna add it direct to the game. I may set up a a side save and make sure it doesn't mess anything up um, and we may bite the bullet and go ahead with maze plus and see what a mess we make of our fairly small herd of cows and then I'll let them breed out until it gets to a point where the robot really, really, really can't cope and neither can I. At which point it becomes... Yeah, we'll probably end up with a big farm, but I think, you know, going obviously going maze plus, I'm not aiming for a farm with 700 cows on, like I did with sheep on Oakfield Farm in 19, where we ended up with 1,500 sheep at points throughout the year. I ended up with... Uh, sheep sales and wool sales uh, just to keep the flock size and the food consumption under control because they were chomping through the clover like it was candy but yeah good times okay it is 1.15 I have a feeling we should be nearing time for Mrs. Osa to return. So I think once I get to the end of this row, we will start talking about next week. Um, I expect us to be 
I don't see any uh, anything coming up next week. The kids aren't here. They're coming around this weekend, this afternoon. So we should have a fairly uninterrupted morning with uh, some more stuff happening. I will probably finish off harvesting this field and um, we'll consider adding some mods next week and seeing what happens. think for right now. Uh, why did it stop? Do not stop. Keep going. I'm going to call it done this week. Everybody have a good weekend, good week, and we will be back next week with more on Maple Farm. But for right now, I'm out of here. Have fun, everybody.